Assalamu alaikum. So Andrew Tate, alhamdulillah, he became Muslim. May Allah guide him, help him to fix all the mess around him because that's difficult when you first come into Islam. And unlike some people, we're happy that a new person became Muslim. And we're especially happy that someone, inshallah, who's going to be influential and who's going to help to spread the positive message of Islam is now Muslim. Before Andrew Tate became Muslim, some of us were quite against him, like me. I made a few videos about him. I actually took those down now because I thought there's no point in having that negative negativity out there when now he's Muslim. And then there is another group of a lot of Muslim men who were into him and they liked his message and they liked what he was about. And now that he's Muslim, I think there are two things we need to say about this. Number one was his stance of speaking the truth, speaking against what he sees to be injustice no matter what. Even if it means getting cancelled, even if it means people criticizing you heavily, he did that anyway. And that's something that we look up to even as Muslims. Now the second thing to look up to him for is the fact that he was sincere. And when he saw Islam and he saw it to be the truth, he became Muslim. Even if he knew that meant throwing away a lot of what he had in his lifestyle, maybe some of the haram money he was making and all of that, I think he knows now that that's all got to go. Even if it doesn't take one day, two weeks, it might take a year to get rid of that, but he knows he's got to sacrifice a lot now that he's become Muslim. So we look up to him for that reason, for that sincerity that he had to then go out and change his lifestyle and basically say that before in my life, I was not right. I was not on the truth. And to have that humility to say, now I'm going to become Muslim. I'm admitting that my beliefs previously were wrong. And now I'm saying that this is the correct belief, Islam. So those are the reasons to look up to him. And those are the reasons that we really remember and look up to men over hundreds of years. You know, men like Muhammad Ali, people who stood up for the truth, they were sincere. They had good character traits. That's really what we look up to. And as Muslims, we know that's the value of the man really in his character, in what he does, in how he stands up for injustice. What I hope we don't keep looking up to Andrew Tate for is the fact that he's rich, the fact that he's got these women around him. I hope we don't look up to him for that. I hope we don't look up to him for some of the comments he was making, which are very insulting, offensive to people. Generally, it's not good to insult people for the sake of it and just to create polarizing people and to get big on social media. And us Muslim men, we have to get rid of this idea that being rich is a good thing in and of itself. It is not. The Prophet ﷺ was not rich. A lot of his companions, the people that we look up to the most, they were not rich. Being rich is not a valuable thing in and of itself at all. And so we shouldn't look up to Andrew Tate for the fact that he's rich. We should look up to him the fact that he was sincere and he spoke words of truth no matter what the cost was. Of course, we have to make money and there's a good reason to make money. But the value of the man is not determined by getting a lot of money or getting a little bit of money. It's determined by what he does with his money. This is the core thing. So there could be someone very rich who spends his money on stupid things or things that are haram and then there could be someone who has very little money but they spend it in good things charity on their family etc and then of course you can get someone who Allah blesses and gives loads of money and they do good things with it and that's someone definitely we should look up to as well but we're not seeking money for the sake of money so brothers we should look up to people we should try to become people who have a strong character who have good Islamic character and in that book over there it's not talking about get rich it's not talking about have an amazing physique it's talking about character traits that make you that great person is talking about acts of worship about yes getting strong but not just getting the physique getting the money for the sake of it i make videos for my brothers answering questions they have helping them in areas that are important to you and if you're watching this video then you're probably interested in that so check out this video right now because it's probably something you'll be into assalamu alaikum see you next time Tied up in his ribs, gone.